today's the day. Today is the day we slam the hell out of the AD Falcon. Just like you, I'm also sick of the wheel gap. It's been a big problem since we took those choppies out because we had to take those things out because we needed to get the car roadworthied and registered for the road. And I don't think any mechanic in their right mind would pass a car with chopped springs because I sure as hell wouldn't, especially considering how bad it rode. This is the problem we're gonna fix today. This is just not acceptable. And in the front too. Yeah, that's, that's just not right. Oh. <laughs> Our friends over at Max Peating Rods have supplied us with some coilovers and today we're going to install them. Today we slam the AU Falcon. <laughs> Our friends over at Max Peating Rods, they sent us out some coilovers for the Falcon. It's finally time to lower this thing because it's just way too high off the ground. Like that, that's just unacceptable. You see, Max Peating Rods have been in the game for a very long time and a lot of people have said that they're really bad coilovers and back in the day I would agree with you but Max Peating Rods have been increasing their quality over the past few years and they've been really getting out products that are becoming the coilover of choice for a lot of people doing a budget build and that's why I've decided to run them. So Max Peating Rods have been kind enough to give me a further discount code for you guys if you want to cop a set of coilovers or turbos or anything on their website for your car. Rex H will get you a 15% discount so go check him out, link in the description. And if you're on a budget like me then it should definitely help you out. <laughs> In terms of ride height, we're going for the lowest we can possibly go. So, as for reference, just just remember what this looks like. So we got the car jacked up in the air now. It's a relatively simple process getting these standard struts and springs out. The door's not open. Before we continue, something that you must need to know if you do want to replicate this and install coilovers as well on your AU Falcon is that not many companies out there sell coilovers specifically for a live rear axle AU Falcon. So what you need to do if you do want coilovers is to order coilovers for a VE Commodore. So we didn't get AU Falcon coilovers, uh, we got VE Commodore coilovers for the rear of the Falcon from Max Peating Rods. So we're going to install that because apparently they're a direct bolt-in and exactly like the standard stuff. So got our spring, they come separate to the coilover and they should just bolt straight in according to Facebook and I don't know, apparently that's just how it, how it be. So I'm excited to find and see if this works out because then I guess we'll know for good. I've decided to put this side back on because god damn that thing's freaking big. So we got two clips right here in the interior once you pull the seats down. Got one right here. And we have access to the top strut tower bolt. All you gotta do now once you remove that top bolt is remove the bottom bolt and then everything should come out. It's as simple as that. Two bolts, two nuts. One bolt and one nut. One bolt and one nut. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Before we do any of that, however, what we're gonna do is roll the guards because it's just an easy assumption to make. I guarantee when I lower this thing that the wheel that we have will rub on this guard. They're, they're fat meat, fat Simmons. So we've got a guard roller just up here. We're gonna get this rolled really nicely and then we'll start working on the coilovers. Goddamn eBay guard roller won't freaking reach his bit. That's max extended all the way. So we're gonna have to use the old fashioned method. So this is the side that we just rolled. Not really roll, just hammered out. You can see how flat that is. Very nice, very nice. This is like standard. There is just so much material. So we're gonna hammer this side out and while we're doing that, Lachlan is gonna remove the other strut and spring. You excited to work on the Falcon fan? Started to get real nice and dirty with this uh, cockroach on tippy toes. Really excited.
All right, the coilovers are in now, the VE Commodore coilovers, and they went in pretty good. There was a bit of finagling involved, but they're in. Like, the only hard thing to do is sort of like line them up with this top perch right here where the spring goes around, um, and then get the uh, top of the coilover itself to come through this hole over here. So you, you gotta jack up everything as one and sort of just move to both sides if you don't have any friends. Yeah, Lachlan went home. But other than that, it's a pretty simple process to get them in. I don't even know where the ride height is gonna be at right now when we lower the thing on the ground. So probably have to do some fine tuning there. And you also saw me in that little compilation, I believe if I recorded that, that I was grinding down the spaces at the bottom of where the coilover sits. So the bolt that goes in through there, you'll see. If you do get VE Commodore coilovers, there's like two spaces that hold the bolt. You will have to grind those down to make them the same width as the standard strut. The spaces are a little bit larger than this standard strut so what you can do is just grind them down um, to match this and then once you do that they go straight in not really an issue at all let's get her on the ground and see where she sits because I'm very keen to see how low it goes stance gods please help me out here we go it's time to lower the falcon what god damn it it's still too high Looks like we're gonna have to do some adjustment because yeah, that's a, still a massive wheel gap But I do want to take it for a quick test drive to see how it feels so I'll be right back So this is how the AU is currently sitting. Yeah, it's about four fingers and I can Put my shoe in there as well. So I think we're gonna have to do some chopping. I really Really didn't want it to come to this but chop chop other than that though the car rides really well It's definitely nice and soft and our uh, handles pretty good and it's looking pretty tough from this angle. Yeah <laughs> So we cut half a coil out on each side and that did not seem to be enough. You can see there's half a coil. Yeah, I do need to paint these, I know, and it's not really smart to chop springs and we're sort of going backwards, I know, but we do need to get this thing slammed, so this is the effort that is required. Yeah, that is how high we have it off the ground now. So definitely a little bit lower, like for sure, but still just ridiculous, unacceptable. So we're gonna chop some more. Damn it, how many freaking coils are we gonna have to chop off this thing to make it low? Ah! I think we're gonna leave it at that because we have had this car up, oh God. We have had this car up in the air a jabillion times now and I can't be bothered doing another spring. So we're gonna leave it like that. It's actually not too bad. We'll probably come back in another video and chop another coil off. But I'm gonna take you for a quick rip to see how it feels. Give you my first impressions on it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be kind of bouncy, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah, chuck in reverse. Oh, fuck, I need to change this transmission. <laughs> Manual stop soon, I promise. There we go. All right, let's get this thing out the, uh, the drive away. Come on, come on. I smell transmission fluid. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. First bump. Dude, that's actually really good. Now I've got a couple bumps down my street, so let's fill this real quick. It's feeling really nice, just traveling nice and smooth. Here we go. Wow. That's actually really good. I mean, it's a little bit bumpy in the back, like bouncy, but other than that, for the price that you pay to get max peating rod coilovers, you can't complain with that. Wow. All right, I'm super happy, actually. Sweet. So it looks like it rides really nicely. Um, we do need to do the fronts now. Let's get on to doing the fronts. All right, so we've finally installed the rear coilovers. They're all in now. Very easy to install. Not really much of an issue. Now we're gonna work on the front. Gonna, this is gonna take like two seconds because it's only like three on the top and, and one at the bottom. So we should easily be able to get this out within 20 minutes or so and swap them over for the BCs. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too crazy low because we don't have anything to change the camber on the front. So probably will be hitting the guy, but I might use the hammer to uh, help persuade the fitment. This is something that I'm gonna briefly mention in today's video. I'm gonna make a whole video on this, but Lachlan and I are becoming fabricators. So we've actually bought ourselves a welder. Lachlan's now setting up our little welding bench. Plenty of fun. I can't describe it, it's like 15 out of 10. 15 out of 10 fun. 15. The reason why we're doing this is because it's gonna save us money in the long run, hopefully, and we'll also be learning a new skill that we can add to our belt. So hit us up if you want some boogie wells. A demonstration of how much it sways, bro. That's too much effort. Show me. You gotta undo so many things to get us to sway.
Ah, time to put the new ones in. God damn, boy. <laughs> damn. I forgot to record it coming down, but fuck, man. It is flush as hell. A little bit of poke, not too crazy. God. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's the falcon. Ooh. Yeah, pretty freaking nutty. So, the other side is, oh my god. Yo, let's tuck it. I kind of want to take it for a drive, but I know it's not going to end good. Actually, that's pretty good. There's like not much trouble. We could we could get away with that. Goddamn, Bunny's hat tops this thing off. Oh my God. It is getting late, so I'll be back very soon. Talk to you in a bit. All right, it's now the next day, and I decided to wait for the sun to come out, and so you can see the AU Falcon in its full glory. AU Falcon, as Michael would like to say. You guys ready for this? Damn, baby. Damn, what the hell, man? It shouldn't look this good. I don't know why, but I'm frothing the AU Falcon right now. It looks so good. <laughs> we bought this as a, as a joke to be like, you know, a real shitty looking drift pig, but it's now turned into this really cool looking car. And I know a lot of you guys are like, you're treating this thing too good. You need to like freaking gut the interior and deregister it and slam it on its ass. No, we're going to enjoy the almighty AU Falcon in its full glory. So you know what? We are going to treat this thing pretty good because we do want the best performing budget drift car that we can, you know, get our hands on. And that's what we're building here. We've got some spicy mods coming very shortly I have an exhaust actually chilling in oh what the hell I promise you this is genuine what I don't even is that for me I think I know what this is sick more stuff <laughs> look I hope you guys enjoyed the lowering of this AU Falcon um, it's looking really good now exhaust mini spool on the way so we can actually do some proper skids and not some one wheel peels and there you go so and this is after, so you can see the comparison right here that it is definitely a lot lower. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you also for waiting um, a whole week until the next AU Falcon video. Catch you all in the next one. See ya. I feel like a crab. <laughs> ah. Ah. My jokes are getting worse and worse as time goes on. I might need an update in the software. Can someone assist me with that? What? Oh shit!